Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a eye tutorial on the um, Maybelline Midnight in the Park Eye and Face Palette. It's really pretty packaging. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, there's not very many mats. Let's count them. I would say probably two. So I did bring in my City Mini palette and then I have the um, uh, Naked One palette to kind of add to it. But it has three highlighters and when I swatched these, when I first got this palette, um, I was pleasantly surprised at the softness of the shadows. But I have yet to use it so I got me a really good eye primer. Milani um, eye primer and we are just going to go ahead and get started. I already put my foundation on and I powdered underneath my eyes because I don't know what kind of fallout we're going to be working with. Um, so, And also I've never used this but everyone always says it's amazing so we will see how things go here. And also just a fun fact this could probably um, I don't know. I washed all of the brushes that I use every day. <laughs> so I had to go through my old brush little like stash collection thing and pull out some old brushes that I just don't use anymore or just kind of are for later or whatever. So yeah, we are going to be working with, I have a lot of, um, Urban Decay brushes, double-ended brushes from the palettes, so <laughs> we can see how those work. But I do have some brushes that I know work good, so we'll just go from there. And they are clean ones. So I'm going to take the City Mini Palette. This is the City Mini Palette in the shade Chill Brunch ne Neutrals. I'm going to take this shade right here, and I'm just going to, to kind of... Um, I don't even know. Place that over the whole wood to the brow. This is a very, very light color, um, but it blends out kind of sheer. So we could build this up if you wanted to. Um, I really got this one because I really liked the purple in it, so I'm going to try to play with that a little bit. I'm going to put a little bit of concealer on my lid and try to see if we can get some pigment out of that color. Okay, now I don't really have a concealer that I want to try, but I'm going to take the e.l.f. Hydrating Eye Primer. Um, it's the under eye primer, but I'm going to take a tiny bit of it, just a little bit, and I'm going to place that on my lid. I've done this before, and I kind of like the results. Um, but you kind of have to really apply this very sparingly, but it can really kind of mix with whatever shadow you're using and kind of create like a tacky surface. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to apply that kind of pigmented purple -y shade -y. I don't know if you can see, but it's really kind of tacky right now. This um, e.l.f. under eye primer is like an amazing product. I When I bought it I was like, alright, I'll try that. I'm so glad that I did. So I'm going to take the brush from the Urban Decay Naked Heat palette and it's got like this kind of paddly kind of color, shape, color, I don't even know. And I am going to dip into this shade right here. Actually, you know what, we should do some crease work first. That is something we should do. I'm going to dip into this shade right here. I don't even, they don't have names or anything. Like the back of this palette is all blank. So, I mean, I can't really. And even it doesn't even just like have descriptions on the back of this. It just shows you pretty much what the inside looks like. So I'm going to take this shade right here. And I'm going to try to work that into the crease. It's going to be more of a transition shade than any like pigment. It's not going to have very much life to the color I would imagine. 
something. I mean, you could definitely get some kind of really neutral look out of this beginning trio that they have here. But I am going to go into the city mini palette and I'm going to dip into like the mauve kind of taupe, I don't even know, color here. It's kind of a matte, maybe satin kind of color. And I'm going to take this. This is the e.l.f. Precision Eye Brush. This is actually good considering. I don't even know if you can still get this. Probably. They kind of changed their brush formulas. Or brush. I don't know. They're more consistent nowadays. Before you would get one and one would be really, really firm. And like another one would be like super. I have some to compare. Like when I was washing them, I'm like, I love these brushes. I'm like, that one's like way way thicker and dense and this one's all fluffy and not dense. I don't even know what words to use because I don't know. So that is what it is. It's kind of just like a mauve purple. I'm really just kind of really blending this out too as much as I can. I really like that shade. It's like just an awesome like you could totally put that on just your whole lid and then add a little brow color and you'll be good. That could be interesting, actually. Okay, now I'm going to go into the dark purple in this palette. Um, and I am going to kind of try to pack this on my lid. I do not know if it's going to behave like one of those that just kind of turns like black. I hope not. Kind of the purple iridescence. It's almost kind of when you pick it up with your brush, it turns. So the purple, when you see it in the palette, it looks like the black is the behind, but this one, it kind of almost like I don't even know. I'm trying to explain things, but I just can't. I just don't know how. Okay, but you kind of have to really pack this on because I feel like blending it, it could get everywhere. So I'm just packing it and trying to place it where I want it and then maybe just blend a tiny bit. I'm just really trying to be extra careful with this dark of a color all over the lid. This is a very dramatic eye that we're going for. That purple does not have a problem blending. Like it seriously, it can, you can pretty much blend it away. So, so far not the best purple shadow ever, but to be 100% fair, it is hard to make a purple shadow. It's probably one of the hardest ones because, okay. So that is pretty much what I got to work with. It doesn't look, it doesn't look terrible, but it's not my favorite. So I'm not gonna lie. I will not lie. So I'm gonna take the, so I'm going to take this highlight shade right here and I'm going to try to add that into my eye look as well. Maybe that will kind of bring it to life a little bit. Oh yeah, buddy. I like that. This is just the same little um, shadow brush that I dusted, I dusted him off to make him work a little better for me. That looks pretty good actually. Actually. Okay, now to finish out this look, I'm going to take this brush, the same one from um, Wet n Wild, and just kind of brighten up the brow area based on the fact that we have super dark lid. We need to bring some life back to our brows. And then I'm also going to take this and pat it here on the inner corner. And we will brighten that up as well. So some of these shadows in here are really, really good so far that I've used, but some of them are like, what are you talking about? Where's so I'm gonna take this shade. I've pretty much been using all of these except for one so far. I'm gonna take this one, it's like a shimmery white. Very pigmented so far. Let's see. Oh yeah. So use him sparingly unless you want the opal. Okay, so I applied liner and I applied mascara. I applied um, CoverGirl Clump Crusher and the L'Oreal So Kiss Me liner. Um, I, uh, I'm i gonna powder my face 
and do all that fun stuff and then we will talk more about how this palette is probably not the best thing ever so I'm just taking NYX contour palette and I'm gonna just kind of lightly dust some powder on my face root. and I'm gonna take this elf kind of brush and I'm gonna take the banana powder and kind of go underneath my eye to kind of not look so cranky. Oh, okay, okay. And I'm gonna take those sauces. So I'm gonna take um, Real Techniques Dual Fiber and just kind of du 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 dip into these two colors. And go here. Slide like this. Uh, quickly turning into a drugstore tutorial because I don't really know anything that I use that isn't drugstore and the blush I'm going to use is very drugstore and it's the e.l.f. pressed minerals blush in Copacabana it's kind of a neutral tone it is Okay, just going to take my powder brush. It's a tiny one. Do not like the way that blush brush was applying this blush. Oh, what is happening? All right. I am going to take a smaller. Real Technique Duo 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 brush, um, and then I'm going to take the pink highlighter in here. I've not I've not worn any of these things yet. But I'm a little bit nervous because it's very like look at all that. Look at all that clumps. I'm trying to focus on the clumps, <laughs> but. Like, anyways, but nonetheless, still pretty highlighty. Boom, boom. It's crazy. Yeah, this is a lot. That is a lot for me. <laughs> I like highlight, but it's like glittery. Yeah, that's glittery. Nope, there's glitter. <laughs> it is not. This palette is not going to be for everyone. All right, so I'm just going to apply Tarte's um, birthday suit liquid lip, and then we'll do our final thoughts. So the overall census on this palette is it worth it? Probably not. It's twenty dollars. Twenty dollars. Do we really need this palette? No, this is not a complete palette. It's full of glitter. Like, let's see if the camera will even show us the glitter. Can you see it? So it's pretty much full of glitter. There's maybe one, two, three mattes, if you, some of them want to call them matte. Um, and I will swatch the ones that they would consider to be matte. Let's go like this. Consider matte. These two are the ones from the first little thing, and then this one's in the purple. I just, I don't even know. I mean, they're not, you can't even mix, you could mix the, you could use these together. I don't know. I just am not like, wahoo about this. The highlighters are okay, but they're full glitter too. I was like excited about this because I was like, yay, it would be fun for a holiday. Glitter, but whoa. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to try like some of the browns, but it's just so glittery. What do we do with all this glitter? Sometimes I think companies are just so gung ho about getting stuff out onto the market that they don't even consider maybe people will not want to have all that on their face or. 
Like, this is not a full complete palette. You need to add stuff to this. Like, or you could just wear one shadow and whatevs. I don't know. This is like three stars. If you like glitter, I don't know. I kind of don't. I kind of regret it. I don't regret too much on this. <laughs> no. This isn't good. <laughs> the shadows are like totally meh. Especially for not being like, for being like shimmers. Because normally shimmers are like, hmm, awesome. But like the City Mini pelts are way better than this. Like they're not even the same quality. Like maybe I'll give it another try and maybe I'll come back and do like an update or something. But maybe just like in another video, like a pop-up. I don't know. It's probably not the best palette you could buy at, the, at whatever store you shop at. Um, but I found mine at Walgreens. So I don't even know if it's an exclusive but I want my hair in my face. Anyways, that is my census on the Maybelline palette. It's probably not the best you can buy. Um, bang for your buck. I don't think so. Um, so, bye or bye. We're saying bye bye to this palette. So, thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> if you did like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if this is helpful at all. Um, and, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of these bye-byes. We have to say bye-bye. Bye-bye, palette. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.